Welcome to this brand new episode of Rhapsody of Realities. Did you know that God has given us authority and rights to the entire world? Well, in today's article, we'll discover this to be true. Today, the 15th of April, our article is titled, The Whole World is Yours. Our theme scripture is taken from Matthew chapter 13, verses 44. And it says, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure, hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. The Lord Jesus vividly describes the kingdom of heaven as a hidden treasure in a field. The field symbolizes the world, and the treasure within is the church. Jesus saw the church in the visions of his spirit. He, in turn, paid the ultimate price, shedding his own blood to legally acquire the whole world for the sake of the treasure therein. Thus, the world belongs to Jesus. He is the rightful owner. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 2, reading from the Amplified Classic Version, emphatically declares that Jesus Christ is not just an appointed heir, but he is the lawful owner of all things. It says, But in the last of these days, he has spoken unto us in the person of a son, whom he appointed heir and lawful owner of all things. Then, in Romans chapter 8, verses 16 to 17, we learn that as children of God, we are joint heirs with Christ. This implies that everything that belongs to Jesus belongs to the church in the same way that it belongs to him. Praise God! Therefore, as He is the lawful owner of all things, so are we. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! He doesn't own it without us, and we don't own it without Him. We have equal rights to everything that the Father gave to Jesus. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 8, reading again from the Amplified Classic Version, describes our wealth and inheritance as boundless, fathomless, incalculable and exhaustless. Praise the Lord! Have this consciousness and walk through life with a mentality that the whole world belongs to you because it does in Christ Jesus. The whole world was willed to Abraham, but the promise had to be fulfilled in Christ. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. The whole earth is ours. We're not trying to get it. It belongs to us in Christ. Now you can understand why the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 21 to 22, Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world, all are yours. Blessed be God. This is so remarkable because it means that He has blessed you with untold prosperity, divine health, unending joy, victories, supernatural strength, success, and any other blessings you can imagine. Praise the Lord. Now let's take this confession. You can repeat after me. Declare, the whole world is mine because I'm an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. In Christ, I am the rightful possessor of boundless, incalculable, riches, wealth, which no human mind can unravel. I walk in this confidence today that in Christ, I have access to every blessings and all things are mine in Jesus name 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't forget to set out time daily to carry out your personal study of the word. You know, the Bible says, The book of the law, which is God's word, shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. You can look into these scriptures today. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 21 to 22. Romans chapter 8, verses 16 to 17. As well as Ephesians chapter 3, verse 8 in the Amplified Classic Version. We've now come to the end of today's episode. Let us know how today's message has blessed you. You can email us at tnimsia at gmail.com. Help us share this message to all your social accounts and make the word of God known to all men so they too can receive the good news and be saved. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 4, the Bible says, For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of truth. Hallelujah. Thank you for tuning in. Come back tomorrow again for a new episode. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities Give me your life for meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody